Hello everybody, my name is Fretex and welcome back to Victoria 3 and our beautiful Grand Columbia playthrough. Now, if you watched last episode, you would know that a lot of stuff happened and we're actually getting quite powerful. We are now one of an elite club of nations in the world that is a great power. I think there is still a long way to go though, unfortunately, before we become first, but you can see that we're starting to get there. We're starting to get there. There is, of course, a massive difference between our rank right now and that of France, though. But I reckon if we put our mind to it, we can do it pretty quickly. But anyway, we're going to be carrying our little conquest of the Americas. Because I'm going to say Americas in general because I'm going to take over all of it. But I also have to deal with a few things first. So if you remember at the end of last episode, we got attacked by some natives we were colonizing in the middle of the Indonesian sphere. I don't know why. But Brazil apparently thought that was too much to handle and they broke my alliance <laughs> because of some random natives without any military. So, a bit weird. It's okay though. We knew that we want to kill Brazil at some point. So it's just, uh, they're just speeding up the process. Now, before the war starts, I'm going to deploy one of my small units over here. We're just sending a, a small detachment of 20,000 men. Now, the best thing about colonization is that if the natives decide to try and kill you, it means that you've won. Because unless somebody powerful stops you from winning the war, you would actually conquer the remaining territory in one big clump, which is pretty powerful. Actually, what we should do, because we can. Let's start colonizing New Guinea as well. Because we can. Wait a second, why is this so slow? Severe malaria. Ah, that could be a problem. Ah. Well, there is a way of fixing that, but I haven't got it right now. Uh, let's just uh, quickly queue up a... Uh, port for later on and let's have a quick look into the technology screen there is a technology to solve this problem there it is it's gonna take four years to get i was actually getting multi-lateral uh, alliances so i can get more than one ally but we'll keep it as it is i'm not in a rush to con um, colonize new guinea it'd be fine this will allow me to make an alliance with multiple nations though and also take over more territory in a war because we get more maneuvers so that's gonna be pretty powerful tech for us to get so uh, the war will be starting shortly. The No one's helping them. <laughs> what a surprise. I thought that said for a second, England was a bargain with me, it's fine. Yeah, so this war will start in a second. We'll quickly take over the territory. What we probably should do here, though... I'm going to make this into a massive tea plantation because we need a lot of uh, luxury drinks. Because this is the only place in my entire nation that actually supplies tea. So, we're going to make a lot of it. Anyway... We let that war just go on in the background because it's definitely going to be a victory for us. Now, what else is happening in the game? We are currently building a lot of stuff. Oh, universities. Nice. So one of my innovation, not innovation, one of my objectives last episode was to start building a bunch of, thank you game, good stuff. Universities, which should increase our technology speed by quite a bit. So like we've only got, I think it's plus three innovation per university. So I think I queued up 20 universities so we should get a nice 60 on increase in our tech speed which right now is it's gonna go up by quite a lot <laughs> we yeah yeah we're pretty much be able to max out our possible innovation if we uh get a better technology production as well later on cool so we'll let that go over we're also building the panama canal which apparently is going to cost me 20 uh, a million pounds to construct at some point but we just have it going in the background somewhere I don't know where it is. My construction queue is so large, it has 10 pages. Wait a minute, this is this is new. Oh, this is awesome. So, I, I, I didn't I did mention this ages ago. You know at this point, I'm recalling all of this before Victoria 3 came out because Paradox is amazing and they gave me an early access copy. When I first played this in an earlier patch, there was no pages. So I was just stuck going like, I can't look at my stuff <laughs> this is amazing i didn't even see this before that's why i didn't do it earlier because i didn't know it was a thing in the original patch i played i didn't think it was here well that's awesome i love that anyway moving on so somewhere in that list of 10 pages there is in fact the panama canal which will give us 100 prestige and also allow people to move between these two oceans, which I think is going to make things a lot easier for everybody. Um, wow. Uh, oh, I was going to say, we're losing a lot of money there, but it should be okay. The problem with what I've just done is that universities are flat out draining the economy. So these 10 universities are going to cost me probably around 20k when it maxes out. That's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> that's pretty expensive. But 
It's fine, we can afford it. But it looks like we do need to try and fix paper mills though. And also sulfur. So what we'll do, let's increase sulfur by probably just say four for now. Let's just do it quite, by, quite, quite a bit. And we'll also put down a bunch of uh, paper mills here. We'll do five for now. And that should be a good enough uh, this situation. Done. Good vintage. I want more prestige. I want to at least get to rank. I want to be on the top five. For this episode, everybody. That's our general goal here. How's the war going, by the way, guys? We win? Yes, we have. Very nice. Shame that there's not many places left that we can colonize at this point. But as I said earlier, we now own this entire region. It's just absorbed it into our beautiful country. So we have... It's not... We can now incorporate into a state, which we will do right away. Also, we have more infrastructure and stuff as well. So that's pretty handy. This will be a very good place to live at some point because we're going to be... We can make 67 tea plantations. That is insane. But not right now. <laughs> That's a future thing. My money is fluctuating a lot, by the way. I don't really know... When you get, like, the size I am at this point, the, the economy is a bit wild. But as long as you have money, it's normally fine. <laughs> it, just, it just goes up and down quite a lot. It's not a problem. Okay, we're actually about to finish the last in university. So are we at 120 speed now? 114. So our tech speed has gone up by quite a bit. It only takes, um, well, two years to get malaria pressure now instead of three years at the start of the game. So pretty good for us. I don't know, because the only way to increase this further is if you get a high literacy late. So I reckon that you can probably get a tech speed of like 300. Maybe? Maybe like 2, 250, 300, I think, at the end of the game. I'm not really sure. Regardless, though, we're fine. Okay, so I want to have a look at some... So these... Are they at war with each other still? They are technically at war with Australia. But I kind of want to just take over Australia. Am I crazy saying that? I... I feel like we should do it. <laughs> I, I can't do anything over here because we currently have an issue with uh, truces. Wait, Argentina has no truce. Damage relations. Okay, we can probably attack Argentina. If you recall from last episode, um, Russia is defending Mexico. England is protecting Brazil. And France is protecting Bolivia. So... All of them are kind of a bit out of our pay grade at this point, but I have 3 million loyalists. <laughs> That's really high. I've never seen that be so high. That's amazing. I've got more loyalists than uh, revolutionaries, uh, radicals. That's crazy. Ah, we got to keep also building... Did I queue any up? We need to keep building admin as well. We have some somewhere. It's fine. So we actually did unlock at the end of last episode an upgrade for admin. We can go to telephone switchboards, which I notice is really efficient for taxation capacity, by the way. But we need telephones, which we do not have. Apparently it's producing electric industries. I don't think we have that. Requires telephone. We should probably look into this at some point. We will try and grab telephones if we can at some point. Oh, nice. Now... These are important for me because this is going to be our first automobiles we're building. Let's check this out, everybody. We're actually making automobiles. Now, I think at the moment, we are first. We are the only people in the world making automobiles. That's amazing. Now, these guys are going to be useful for many, many things. Um, at least at the moment, I think all the costing or the demand is going to go towards the France has migrated to us nice is going towards our barracks because we actually have motorized recon I believe I put it on before last end of last episode yep reconnaissance motorized reconnaissance so it gives us an additional 10 percent provinces captured which is really good and some more offense and defense I actually think we may actually have the most powerful army in the world maybe <laughs> probably who knows I reckon we do. I reckon it's over 100. The only way I can check that is if we go and fight somebody, though. So we have to give that a shot. Also, this time we've got a problem with our navy. That's not good. 
We have a lack of ironclads, which is not great. I thought we built a... It needs way more. Damn. Let me just double check something. Is it because of market access? Probably. Wow. We have some issues with market access, everybody. <laughs> um, we need more here. Let's build two there. This space is actually fine, right? This space is fine. And San Diego, which is in Chile, needs more as well. What we'll do, we just quickly bring these up to the maximum. And we get them right away. Now, what I was saying as well last episode, we just try and invest a lot in our production things we just ignored at this point. So, one of them was going to be increasing efficiency of um, the kind of like the rural farming. Because we can actually bring in. Where is it? It's down here. Plantations can be automatically irrigated. So we're going to push this through. It's going to apparently make me 15k. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Let's go for that, shall we? How much do you reckon I need to actually get... The thing I'm worried about is, do we actually make enough... Ooh, that's not good. Why have we got this here? Oh, I forgot. So we required oil. And I was hoping that my whaling stations, which we have a few of, produced enough oil to help me out. But it looks like they don't. What is up with... Why is it such a high mor mortality rate? Wow. Getting... Wow. That's really dangerous. <laughs> wow. Do not be a waiter, apparently. It is not a good job to have. Also, it's not a nice job in this current environment either, so screw that job. Uh, okay, so we probably want to deal with that. <laughs> there seems to be a lack of oil. Oil is going to be found at some point. Where is it? Production. Where would it be? I'm blind. I can't see it. It must be somewhere. <laughs> hmm. I unlocks oil derricks. Can we already make oil? We just haven't got the... Let's do a quick check, shall we? Let's go... What's this? I'm busy. <laughs> I don't care about your petty squabbles, sir. Let's go into a place with oil production. We click on oil. Potential production. 6,000. Ah! I didn't even twig that we already unlocked this. This is amazing. Um, excellent. Let's build some oil rigs. And then we actually have access to oil. That's amazing. Let's go for combustion engine derrick. I don't know what these do. I never actually got this far before with oil. So we're going to build that and see what it does. Let's also bring in these guys to the top. Because oil wire magic could be used everywhere in various fields. So you want to get that sorted out as soon as possible. Like, for instance, bottle blowers. Okay, so we need to figure out a few things here then. How do we want to deal with this? I want to bring in efficient stuff, don't I? So if we go back to engines here, how are we looking? we still got loads of engines to spare. So let's go back to what we were doing earlier, which was changing over these various fields to be producing automatic irrigation. Should we just do all of them and see the consequences afterwards? <laughs> It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, I just put automatic irrigation everywhere. How bad is it, game? Tell me. It's pretty damn bad. It's pretty... <laughs> it's pretty awful. It's a shame we haven't got electric engines because this would solve all my problems. Electric railway. Let's go for this. It's going to take 19 months. It will allow us to massively increase the efficiency of our railway production buildings. Uh, sorry, engine production buildings. And then we probably don't need to build anything. We probably just be able to live off that. After that, I'm going to say we're going to go back and grab... That's not really a priority, is it? Let's be honest. We're in all that. We're off of this, we're going to grab telephones and radios. So, now that we've unlocked alliances, though, can I make an alliance of America? Oh, America, you're doing it again! 
Invite me to your wars. You can't win wars by yourself, man. Ah. America just deserves to get destroyed at this point. <laughs> it's not doing a good job. Sorry, I've got a weird notice on my OBS there. It's fine. It's gone away. Oil derricks. Done. So. What do we want to do with the rest of our stuff? So, is there anything else we can... Ah! Vacuum canning. More efficient for groceries. So, we put that in. What else have we got? Textile mills. Elastics. That's fine. We need that be. Um, I want to make sure we got, like, maximum... What's that? Bottle blowers. Let's do it. In theory, eventually you can get assembly lines, which is really, really efficient. But we'll leave the... Everyone on water tool bowlers for now. Actually, with the amount of people that live here, would it not be better to turn this off? It, it would... Mm. I, we'll leave that be for now. We'll leave it be. Shipyards. So I'm just going through all this stuff. I just want to make sure we got stuff upgraded when we can. A lot of this is going to be quite complicated because we got different types of production buildings, so these two we have to leave alone. Urban centers! So you can do... How are we doing with services anyway? Do we need more services? No, we're actually doing really well. We're actually pretty much completely balanced with services. So we'll leave that be. Universities. I think we pretty much already upgrade everything with oil already then, which is a bit crazy. At least for now, until we get more different types of um, buildings we can push through. Yeah, I think we've pretty much done it already. Nice. Ah! Wasn't there a building that I ignored earlier? Was it chemical production? That required... Oh, no, that was electricity, sorry. Nice. Oh, look at that negative money coming in, right? That's that's a bit scary. Let's uh, offset that quickly with some uh, ridiculous wages. Yeah, so I guess we'll just leave it be for now. Now, oil is a general resource, so oil will also be pushed through to... What does this do, by the way? Various things. Oil will also be used for heating, so it's not like we're wasting it. It's just being used by the population for heating needs, so it's working out pretty well. It's totally fine. We are, the reason I think we're losing so much money, by the way, is because the pan of Kamal's in here, and it costs us a lot of money to build. So I think it's absolutely destroying our income right now. Um, but if we survive and we build the building, we're good to go. So I guess our next step then is going to be to wait for this technology for electric railways. And then we can increase the efficiency of all these built. Oh, actually, we're already pretty bad off right now. Hmm. We may have to not... We need more of these, don't we? Grip. Let's build more. To be fair, looking through the ones we can do with production methods, a lot of them were for engines anyway, so we'll go for more engines. Let's go to the next page and let's bring through all these motor industries. Let's go back to the first page and make sure we're still doing the canal. What happened? <laughs> oh, it's because I stopped built. Yeah, so we... It's because of the investment funding, wasn't it? That was why it was so crazy. Let's put that back then. Okay, expansion. Let's have a look, shall we? I'm very tempted to actually... <gasps> They've lost their alliance. They have no alliance with uh, Russia. How big's my military? We're doing it. We're doing it. We're taking the chance to take on Mexico. No fear. So we want to take on Mexico. Uh, sorry, this these three locations I think we want to grab. So let's just add them into the war. They're going to get Netherlands and Italy on their side, which is fine, I guess. Uh, I want to get my territory, though. Let's go conquer states. Yes, and where's the other one? Done. 
So they're going to liberate Panama and Los Atos. So if we lose, it's big, big bad for us, everybody. Big bad. Uh, can I get anybody to join me? No one cares. No one cares at all. This for future, but it just improves some relations. Now, I'm going to go through this thinking that would be fine. So I'm going to... Where's my military at? We're at War of the Netherlands. They're quite far away. It's fine. Let's... Oh, my general died. Oh, that's sad. We get a new one, though. Let's get... Oh, Pious. Very good at morale. And defense. This guy sounds pretty good to me. We'll upgrade him as well. How many units do we have left over here? A lot. Done. I can't believe our military is now 140,000. That's pretty wild. Okay, so we want to do this as quickly as possible. Let's push in everybody. Do we have any issues with our military? Because I have been playing a bit fast and loose recently. So let's have a look at the barracks. Are we good to go? Everything's good. Apart from it's a little bit expensive for the old motor industries, but they're fixing that anyway. It looks like to me, we are literally just fighting these guys. That's pretty easy. I'm really tempted to add a war goal, but we shouldn't be too greedy. We'll leave it be. I really want to grab this at some point, but we'll figure it out. So Navy-wise, though, I have a bigger Navy than them. They only have one ship between the Netherlands. No way. I don't know. They got 65 ships. Game, you're lying. <laughs> That's not true. So we'll put you guys on patrol coastline. Uh, I'm not really sure. Can I only pick one coastline? Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh, headquarters. Hmm. Hopefully they can attack any navies that try to land where I am. I'm not really sure how that works though, to be honest. Let's see how that works out. Okay, the war's about to start. Let's do this. They're still at war with America. I have a massive amount of units right now. They ended the war. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, oh it's awful. It's I, I hate it. Why would they do this? It's disgusting. We're also going to invade America now, by the way. Sorry. Uh, as, as horrible as it looks, I will grab this territory. There's nothing stopping me. <laughs> okay, the main war has begun. We are against a lot of enemies here. They have got more troops than I do. We bear that in mind. Hopefully, we'll be fine. Uh, so far... Oh, let's have a look at the quality of units. 80. Oh, we've lost our good skills, haven't we? There's 117 is first place right now. That's crazy. We have to keep an eye on any invasions that pop up because we may have to just quickly go and stop them wherever they show up. It's also why it's a good idea to have like garrison units in different regions, which we haven't got. <laughs> so it's fine. Let's increase taxes for this war, shall we? A little bit. A little bit of taxes. There you go. Do you reckon we can get away with a... Uh, let's bring in the armed forces. They're already loyal. It's fine. We don't need to do anything for that. Okay, hopefully as we're fighting here, some of our generals will level up. I'm very curious about if we're going to get attacked by somebody. I don't know if there's like a UI indicator or something when you get attacked somewhere, but we can keep an eye out. More interests. I declared interests in... Oh, we already have. I can get seven interests now. That's pretty wild. Losing. Interesting. We'll leave them be. I'm going to hope that my quality can just push through here. They are very defensive though. If when we push through this front here, we should be able to come back. So instead of attacking me elsewhere, the AI, uh, the AI, <laughs> the enemy forces have gone into a large front against me here. Um, I don't think we were getting any more barracks in our build. Oh, don't pause. No, we have maximum barracks. 
we probably should increase some stuff elsewhere. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go to buildings and we're going to build some garrison forces across the map in different regions for the next battle. So a span. Uh, what region is this in? I need to find out. Uh, secret region, Central America. Okay, so they're going to have 50,000 guards. That's 60,000. For some reason, I would prefer 60 than 50,000 in Victoria 3. I don't know why. So we'll go for that. We we'll have a 60,000 increase in military personnel in this region here. Is there actually people living here? Yeah, there is. <laughs> just checking just in case. Okay, that should be a big increase in our people then, which should be pretty handy. Uh, also, we should probably do some... We'll leave the rest for now. We're not under attack over there. Let's not panic too much. Wait, have we done it? Oh! We've done it. It's only just been finished though, so when it fills up... It, we, get the, uh, we get the reward. How cool is this though? Very nice. So I'm a bit concerned about how naval combat's working. Uh, it's a bit confusing for me. So I'm going to go and put on raid convoys and see if we can mess up their supplies for these regions. Because I presume they're being sent supplies. So if we raid convoys here, let's see what happens. We're still winning, by the way, because my quality of my troops is... Oh, we're not... Oh, we have high quality. There is a pretty bad. 103 defense, by the way. Wait, someone's on 170 defense? That must be England. To be fair, we are quite far behind on military at this point. Because really, we should be on, in my opinion, we should be on trench warfare. And was it wargaming? We could be a lot better. We probably should work on that at some point in the future. Okay, we'll let, I don't think we need to rush through those barracks. I think we can leave them be. Things are going pretty well for us, though. Not so much here, but... Oh, that... Wow! We killed 3,000 um, Dutch and 10,000 Awuna. We barely took any casualties. We're smashing them. Quality over quantity, everybody. We're doing a good job there. And our allies aren't even ready yet. That's the crazy thing here. To be fair, they have got 40k over here holding us back, so. Wow, look at the amount of money we're making right now. <laughs> That's great, I love it. Let's put that back. And we got loads of... Yeah! Nice! So what do we get for this then? Oh, nothing. It was just a, an objective we could achieve at some point. Fair enough. Is there any other decisions we can do? Survey a skyscraper site? Yes! Ah! Oh, I want to build a skyscraper. I've never done this, by the way, if you can't tell. <laughs> I kind of stopped playing in my own time when I start this series, because if I'm going to play it, I just want to record it, right? So... Oh, they got... This is going really well. It does really show that quality is extremely important, because they outnumber me massively, but I'm still winning. Quality is the king in this game. It is absolutely huge. Oh, we're doing stuff. Sunk 241 convoys? What? Do you reckon we're messing up their supplies then? Are we like, uh, I, I don't know how this works. This is what, I need to figure stuff out here, but um, because this is, this is the first time I built a navy in this game. I don't know how it's working, but it, it seems like we're doing something. Oh, this is, this is great. This is great. Oh, how good are the Italian troops, by the way? They're not that great either. The AI has not invested in high quality um, units, to say the least. Just imagine if I actually unlocked. Nice. Yes. That's, this is huge. This is huge. Um, okay, so go to buildings. We are going to improve. We're probably going to mess up the electricity here, but we have to deal with it later afterwards. I, I, me. I forgot we could do this as well. Electric trains. There's so much in this game. I can't. My brain's broken. It's fine. Um, urban. We will make a thousand more 
electric engines. <laughs> yes, yes. You're thinking, what are you doing? You're crazy. It's fine. Don't worry about it. The reason I'm saying this is because if they don't make money, they'll just reduce the amount of workers there. It's not a problem. Now, electricity is now a problem for us, though, unfortunately. We're going to need to get ourselves some more electricity power plants. Let's just double this to... Oh, not there, actually. Let's put it somewhere else. Let's build electricity. I do like my strategy, by the way, in this one of spreading out stuff. I think because when I first played single player, I had a super location and Buenos Aires. I had like, I think like 20 million people lived there. It was insane. <laughs> uh, this way, though, it's like the the wealth is being spread out across my nation. I think it's quite nice. Anyway, we're going to build another 10 power plants here and actually keep us going for the time being. Um, Cool. Let's do that now, though, instead of later, I think, because it looks like we really, really need to get ourselves that electricity going. And also, we have way too many engines now, so we're going to invest in using those engines for various things. Let's have a look. So, what would engines be used in? Is, is it, I think there's like a shortcut you can actually check that, by the way. Where is it? Here, here. Applications. So you can see where they could be used. Should we just, um... Hmm. Seam donkeys would be a good one. Let's bring those in. What else have we got? They're all good already. Ah! Was it... Chainsaws? Oh! Ooh. We won a war against a major power, and also we are now far larger. Let's kill, let's kill New Africa, I think. I can't, but why is it called New Africa? <laughs> it's very confusing. Okay, I also want chainsaws. It requires oil. Should we just be crazy? Let's be crazy. Let's go wild, everybody. I'm going to go through this list and we're going to put the best production method for everything. And then we're going to deal with the consequences afterwards, okay? So, let's make sure everything is exactly what I want it to be. You reckon at this point, because we are making so many clothes, should we just make them all into luxury ones? No, we shouldn't, because they are having issues with other stuff. We'll leave that be. Okay. Uh, furniture, that should be okay as well. Oh, wait, no, it won't be okay. There is three luxury ones. That's okay. We'll leave that be. This is going to be crazy. I don't, this is probably a really bad idea, but I'm doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's fine. At least this way, we know we got the best possible stuff, right? It's going to, like, explode the universe. The game's like, what are you doing? Don't do it, man. We can, I reckon at this point we can full on get rid of. Um, because we're also going to switch out the ports to be the steamer ports as well. So we don't actually need clippers anymore. We're getting rid of them. Arms Industries. I think they're both already maxed out, aren't they? Yeah, they're both good to go. Nice. Oh, my, my bad, everybody. My bad. Wait. Oh, some of the methods can't be done because of the... Yeah, we can't make them publicly traded. Market stalls, unlit streets. Let's go for the um, public carriages. So yeah, this is going to make transportation costs more, but I'm actually going to increase all the railways to electric railways anyway at the end. So it'll be fine. Okay, done. Next. This is probably going to be a disaster. I can tell this already. I, I'm actually going to break my nation. And I'm going to love it. There will only be maximum efficiency in the land of Grand Columbia. <laughs> there will be nothing. The dynamite. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is going to be awful, everybody. Absolutely awful. I want to see the doom this is going to create. Okay, we'll leave. Should I just make the, these all be hardwood production at this point? Hardwood, you can never actually increase production of. It's always quite low, unfortunately. 
I mean, loads of hardwood. Screw it. They can all become hardwood. That should fix that. Rail log carts. Oh, this is interesting. It just it's a more efficient way again, but pretty cool. Fishing wharfs. Refrigerating cars. Oh, it massively reduces the amount of people working here. That is crazy. Damn. Is this going to be a disaster? <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, everybody. We've pretty much done it now. Now we must deal with the consequences of our actions, which are stupid. Wait, how much was that going to create? We, have, we may have to double check with... I don't know if we need more or less a transportation. It says it's actually equal in... Okay, we'll put that on script. Okay. Are you ready, everybody, to see how broken my nation is now? Play. Let's give it a few days. Everyone, how many radicals did we get from that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just fired like half a million people from their jobs. It's fine. How screwed are we now? Let's get, okay, it's been a week. Let's have a look at uh, buildings. Uh, sorry, market. So we need literacy. We need explosives. We need pretty much everything. I'm not going <laughs> to... We need all of it. We need all of it. So electricity is already being done, right? So we now have buy orders for 2,000... 3,000... Let's just say 3,000 electricity. Pretty wild. And we also need double the explosives as well. So we're already dealing with electricity, right? We're already building this. Though I don't think it's enough, right? We need more. Uh, where's the current electricity plant? We're going to need another... Uh, a thousand, wouldn't it? Damn, we need another 20 plants then. No, wait. Yeah, would it be 20? Wait, it's, a, it's 500 per 20. We need 40 more plants. Which is pretty wild. We have loads of engines though, which is pretty nice. But then we need more, way more engines. Oh, I only use 54 engines for that much electricity. That's fine then. So we'll do that first, I think. And then we'll do explosives. So, if I go into... Where do we want to build more electricity plants? Ooh. Let's have a look. Where is electricity? Let's build... I need to find a place with a lot of infrastructure. So, how many does it take per infrastructure usage? Is it two? Two. So we need a place with at least 20 available. I can't believe I've done this. This is uh, this is shambles. This is absolute shambles, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's fine. Put some here. Done. Electricity is done. Sorted. Next one is going to be chemicals, which is being affected negatively by the electricity deficit. So we currently ignore the deficit. It's only like 3% right now. So it's 600 per. So we'll just build another um, five here. We'll just build 15 here. It'll be fine. Fixed. Done. Easy. Next up. What do we have next? Is that the worst of it? Yeah, the rest is okay. It will be fixed at some point, but it just, we can push it through later. So I think a lot of it is actually being affected by the lack of dynamites. We've already planned to fix this. Problem solved then. It's fine. Let's carry on. Oh, but before we go on any further, we need power plants. We need a lot of power plants. Eventually it should... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's fine. Go back up to the top, and we put the ones that we were originally doing. The, go back to the bottom, guys. Nope, where are they? There they are. There's no point wasting stuff we've already been doing. So, done, everybody! It's fine. Let's increase taxes temporarily to not go bankrupt. The problem is, now I've done this, 
all of my businesses are becoming less efficient because they have no electricity. <laughs> I do not recommend playing in this way. It's stupid. Um, <laughs> but don't worry, everybody. It's totally fine. I'm doing it so you realize what not to do. It makes complete sense in my mind. It's totally fine. While I'm here, by the way, should we just see... Can we build more gold mines? Let's max out gold mines. There you go. Done. Come on, guys. Get that electricity going. Oh, we're doomed. <laughs> Quickly, guys. Quickly. Also, we're about to enter a new century. Ooh. Are these better than ironclads? Oh. I like this, I like this uh, philosophy, right? By making a smaller warship better suited for shallow water and slapping a mass of guns on it, it's possible to make it more efficient naval weapons. Great idea. Oh, how cool is this? Okay, we can't... Zeppelins are skyscrapers. We'll get there in the future. Least destroyers. Oh, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Okay, so let's go here quickly then. Monitor. It is better. Let's go for it. Shadow Draft Solutions. Designed for coastal defense operations. What monitors lack in ocean-going capabilities, they make up for in cost-effectiveness. Our Admiral has informed the Admiralty in uh, Bottega that his fleet will keep an eye at any foes away from our shores. Okay. Um, why would I pick this? <laughs> That's stupid. Nine years, we can get 10% more naval defense. Let's go for that one. I want the most powerful navy in the world. Even England can't stop me. Or in this, in this game, unfortunately, France. Because England's not doing a good job. Damn it, England! What's this? There's some kind of war going on over there. Okay, so we know all that. Let's make sure we also start incorporating all these new states we just captured. Are they okay? They're not okay. The states aren't very happy with me. Uh, let's quickly try and fix any issues with... Mark access, because as we know, that's a quick way of losing your locations if they've got problems with that. So we'll bring those up. Done. Oh, that was a very successful attack we just did there. I do really want to kill New Africa as well. Am I a problem right now with being a... I'm notorious. <laughs> Let's calm down a little bit. Let's just be a little bit more chill. We'll wait for a... We'll wait for these... Issues to be dealt with, such as electricity, and then we're going to invade America, or should I say New Africa? It'd be fine, don't worry about it. Okay. Also, I can't help notice we have got some additional um, gold mines there. Just pretty nice. All our, loads of buildings are saying, look at all these red markers, because we completely messed up the status quo of our empire here. And how many workers do we have now? 80k unemployed. That is really, really bad. Oh, what have I done? What have I done, everybody? Oh, it's awful. It's awful. We'll try and fix this later, okay? But now we have the most efficient production effic um, things. It's fine. I can't... <laughs> this is the most wild gameplay the world has ever seen. And I'm pretty sure no one else that has had access to this game is going to play as wild as I am. <laughs> like, I'm like, ah, oh, I'll deal with it later, it's fine. Actually, no, a, a sniffing Brit would probably be more crazy than me, because he just he's going to break the game on purpose. I try and avoid breaking games on purpose. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I, re I reckon what he's going to do, I imagine it's already happened by now, because it's quite late into the uh, after release. I presume he's just done what you could do, which I could have done, but I, I held back on. Just get a thousand construction speed or something. Literally just build everything across the world in like a few hours. I reckon he's done that. But that's my... What day is it? 22nd of October. That is my my guess on what he's going to do. <laughs> we'll have to see though. Anyway. We are very close. Oh, it's, it's happening. Electricity is being created. We still haven't made enough of a dent though. Unfortunately to get rid of the deficits. Uh, but I think we must be at least in a little bit reducing the problem. Yeah, 5%. I think it was on 10% before. I can't believe this. Come on, guys. Keep going. You can get rid of these negative modifiers. 
We can bring our world back to where it should be. We should probably also bring up... Oh, we already have. Okay, that's fine. We probably should do this one a bit earlier than the other one, though. Let's bring up five of these. Just so we can start getting rid of the... Because, unfortunately, it's affecting everything. The uh, All the, like, mines having no explosives. So you really want to get that sorted out. Electricity now should be okay, I think. Let's have a quick look. Um, it's still not okay. Wow. <laughs> we need a lot of, uh, that's a bit crazy. How annoyed people are right now. <laughs> How many guys did I get from firing people jobs? Okay, uh, plus 639,000 from being fired from buildings. That was just me. I did that myself. Plus one from discrimination. How? No one's discriminated here. Everyone's accepted into my glorious empire. Weird. Surely, guys, how have we not put a dent into the horrors of electricity deficit yet? It's still a massive problem. How? What the hell? <laughs> What's going on here? We have doubled at this point. We have doubled the production, but it's still not enough. By the way, <clears throat> we are third. We have just taken over Great Wing. Well, not really. They weren't actually there. We've just taken over Radical Australia. What the? What is that? <laughs> Austria, sorry. I presume they might become third. Oh, they, if they add back up, they'd be higher than me, those two. That's because they're having a civil war. But we are closing in. Fishing wars. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna push this in. Screw it. Let's make it worse. We're already this far in, everybody. We're just well, we're going we're going even deeper. Um, ah, it's the wrong place. I'm in the wrong location. Fisheries. There they are. Oh, it's a worse version. I don't need I don't need that then. We're good. Sorry, I am an idiot. That's really good. I need, I, I got that specifically because it's going to help us off with our um, losses in combat. Let's start going in. Screw that. We're going to go back to telephones. Pasteurization. It was, that was it. Livestock ranches. Sorry, I forgot the last one. I was at a loss there. I just fired another 30,000 people. Imagine if there's, I can't wait for the real world mod and be like, oh, what about trucker unions of automated cars? Nope. Automated cars. <laughs> Bring it in. It's fine. Mexican culture might separate it from me. That's bad. Let's go into debt then. Oh, that's really bad. It is going down though, but it's still... Oh no, they're going to do it. I wasn't paying attention. We can't stop it now. It's too late. They, they've just, they've, they're they dedicated to it. It's fine. Whatever. We had to fight a little civil war for a second, but it should be fine. How are we doing now with electricity, guys? We still can't defeat it. We can't do it, everybody. We need so much. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We'll send... Uh, what's your name, sir? Please be uh, this guy. Mobilize and kill. Oh, how did the um, increase in chemical plants go, by the way? Mm, not too grand. And we also have way too much fertilizer. Something we can do to get a lot of people working again in our nation is probably going to be to just massively increase the amount of um, fertilizer we're using. So I'll probably, what we'll do, if we go to market quickly, so a quick gander. I can't see food goods as being a problem. Food goods are actually totally fine. That's annoying. We'll do it anyway. Maze farms. Yeah, we're actually totally fine on food, which is really, really annoying. So I need to get rid of this fertilizer. <laughs> we need more people or something. 
Screw it, it'll be fine. Do we just have a massive farm? That is going to mess up infrastructure big time. It'll be fine, don't worry about it. It will solve itself. The enemy has 24,000 troops. They must have backup from someone. Mexico. Mexico. How dare you. I mean, I should be surprised the Mexicans are helping the Mexican revolt against me. That does seem a bit obvious. Roaring engine. What's this? With the invention and implementation of motor transportation, the question arises, shall we focus on private or pri uh, public or private? Uh, let's go for... Ooh. Interesting. Private. Interesting. We need more oil by quite a bit. Let's increase that by 10 at some point. Yep, it's fine. I'm just leaving my guys doing their own thing over there. Actually, screw that. Let's mobilize more. I am going to do another naval invasion. Why not, right? If we can attack from two fronts, I don't really see a reason, uh, a thing not to. What we have forgot to do, though, is we forgot to implement the better um, medical um, production for the army. So we should do that after this war, if we can remember. Okay, guys, things are looking pretty good for us, though. Uh, we are starting to have even more production of electricity. We probably, at this point, should really look into getting coal fire plants, because it is double efficiency of a basic plant. But, I don't know. It's very efficient having just engines, to be fair. We may leave it. Now, this is what I was on about ages ago. Um, many, many episodes ago at this point. There is a bit of a weird mechanic in the game I just don't understand. Which is pollution. So there is pollution in the game. But I don't know if it's actually meant to be implemented yet. Because it's a bit weird. So I get events about pollution. It looks like it's on the map. You can see it's like becoming radioactive. I don't know what the hell we're doing. But you can see it's kind of like rainbow colors are appearing on the map there is there is pollution but i just don't know what it does i just presume it's bad <laughs> oh our architects and engineers have identified a place to build a skyscraper lay the foundations yes please so this is going to be in my capital right it's at the bottom i think oh maybe not oh Oh. Is it just building one for me? Ah, sorry, it's here, it's here. It's going to cost half a million to build. What does it do? Oh, govern admin throughput. That's huge. And we can also put zeppelins on it. Is that just for this region? We'll have to build a few of them then. That's really cool. I love that. Wait, what's happening here? Oh, our general died. Nope, that's the Admiral. Something weird is happening over here. I think he's moved to a front he shouldn't be in. Because he's not over there. Why are you moving back? Dude, go back to your... What are you doing? Go back to where you were fighting, sir. How dare he. Oh, I'll, we will build a skyscraper. I'm interested to see if it will appear on the map. I hope it does. Everybody, we've done it. We've got to the point where we're no longer hemorrhaging electricity. <laughs> um, everyone gets more... Everyone's happy, pretty much. Everyone's happy about that. So what we should do then, let's go back to our massive construction page. Let's also bring up increasing sulfur. Oh, I couldn't see it. Have I missed it? It might have been at the bottom, actually. 
T sulfur. That's not sulfur. We'll bring that in now. Guys, what are you doing? Can you please keep where you should be fighting? This is one of the minor inconveniences I was talking about earlier with the system of fronts because they just decide to go back home sometimes for no reason. And I lose a bunch of territory. It's very annoying. Like... Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, they need to work on the front system a little bit in my opinion because it, it, has, some it has some clunkiness and it's a bit annoying at times, so... Because now I've got to wait 25 days for the guy to return to the front line, which he should have been at in the first place. But here's what it is. Okay, that's looking pretty good for us. Mexico. Why are we fighting Mexico if there's no war goals? <laughs> that was actually pointless. Okay, it's fine. Um, done. Let's bring this back a little bit. So, we've uh, succeeded in, well, pretty much nearly destroying my economy, but then fixing it. <laughs> we've also succeeded in starting construction of the skyscraper and having a massive military, which is way too probably large for what it should be. We've played for a little bit longer, though, because we've got a few minutes. Let's just keep going through this. Yes, yeah, so that's why I was on about the, sorry, on about pollution, though, because it clearly is starting to affect my regions. I don't know what it does. There's no UI indicator about it, and I'm not sure if I should be worried about it as I'm playing the game. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea. I, what if I can see it if I go into, like, the mortality rate of these people? No, it doesn't mention anywhere. It's like it's a mechanic that shouldn't be in yet. It's very confusing. But it's clearly doing something. But, who knows. But this is why I stopped having one region, because I wanted to stop the spread of um, pollution. Because I built everything in one large location. I had my entire region was just polluted, everything. But I don't know what it was doing, but still, I didn't like the look of it anyway. Okay, so we've still got issues with turmoil here. Is it going up or down? Down. Perfect. Ah, that's going to be annoying. We have to reset all these buildings, won't we? Put that all back. At least it should be a little bit easier this time to identify what's gone wrong. Don't think it's that with that one. A lot of stuff that's been changed around annoyingly, but it's okay. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Oh, more money for me. Nearly that. Let's hope they don't rebel again, because doing this is very annoying. Oh, that was a mistake of the maker. Done. Cool. They're going to rebel again, aren't they? I need to get the taxes down. Damn it. That's really annoying. Uh, while we're doing this, by the way, because I haven't checked in a long time, um, there is still absolutely zero support for anything to do with equal rights to women, unfortunately. There is also... Ah, old age pensions. I wanted to implement this. Probably not at the moment, though. We've got some issues with various things. This one would be a good one to go for. Let's try, let's try and get, let's go and push through primary school education for our people. Now, I'm pretty sure my legitimacy is awful. Let's drop off some people from this. That's good enough for me. We'll take that. Done. I think it should be trending down as long as we get rid of this taxation at some point. And as things stabilize as well with our various industrial goods, it should be fixed as well. Ah! Awesome! Well, I said it's like so well I was going to try and get telephones, and I did exactly what I said, so happy days. 
everybody, that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope that everyone has enjoyed. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Ooh, silk. You need that as well. And, um, well, before we end, actually, let's quickly zoom out. This is the world at the end of the game. It's still a complete mess, but it's our mess, everybody. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, and have a great day.